Hey everyone, in today's video I have a book haul to show you. The first book I have to show you that I got recently is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Uh, I already had a copy of this, um, which I do like because it has the movie cover on it. The movie from 94 that sh I like think that movie is definitely the best um, adaption. But I saw this cover and I was like, oh it's so pretty, look at it. That's how they're like the four girls faces, one, two, three, four, and they're all like hiding in like vines and leaves and flowers and stuff and I was like oh it's so pretty I had to have it uh, I read this book um, at the beginning of last year finally after trying to read it for like over 10 years I finally got through it and I'm glad I did because it was really good five stars but this copy is so beautiful um, in case you didn't know this is about um, four sisters and they're just their lives during the um, Civil War. Um, so it's like 1860s around there. And it's just about like their friendships and their sisterhood and their marriages and all that. Just about their lives basically. This book I got was The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Um, I've never read this but I've always been I guess interested in it. Um, All I've really heard about is that it's about like suicide, I think. Something to do with suicide anyway. I'll just read what it says on the back. Um, aspiring poet Esther Greenwood has everything going for her apart from a dark cloud of mental illness which hangs over her. She gains a dream internship at a major New York magazine ooh, New York, in the 1950s, but her struggle with depression ricochets her back to Massachusetts. Sent to a psychiatrist by her mother, Esther finds herself on an irreversible path to hospitalization. So, so that's here. It's part autobiograph, autobiographical, autobiographical. <laughs> that was hard. It's a defiant coming of age story, told in sharp prose and shot through with black humor. Mm, humor. So I thought it sounded pretty good. So what I got was. Um, Set in Sensibility by Jane Austen. Um, this is the second Jane Austen book that I hope to get to. I read Pride and Prejudice last year and I liked it a lot so I'm like, well I'll probably like this one too so I'll just pick it up. Um, this is about two sisters and they're left poor and homeless by their father's death and um, well basically they're trying to get married just like they were in Pride and Prejudice through risky liaisons and misunderstandings and illness, two very different individuals discover in their own ways that a mixture of sense and sensibility is the solution. Yeah, so one of the sisters has a sense and the other one has a sensibility, right? I've already seen the movie, but I figured I'd read the book too. Like, I'd like to get to all of Jane Austen's books. So this will be my second one, which I hope to get to soon. The next one I got was Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I read this um, quite a few years ago, so I was like, I'd like to reread it again, and also I really liked it, so I'd like to have it. Um, I'm sure I'll still like it, of course. This one's about um, do, 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 do. the story's heroine Jane is a plain and plain speaking orphan whose determination, good nature, and spirit see her through a series of personal ordeals from an early age. When she takes up a position as governess at Thornfield Hall to teach eight-year-old at Adele, she is resigned to a non-eventful career. But then the moody, char charismatic owner of Thornfield, Edward Ro Rochester, makes a rare visit to the hall and Jane's impassioned self-respect and moral conviction are tested to breaking point. The next book I got was The Mermaid by Christina Henry. Um, I got this because, well, I'm, I like mermaid books, but also because I read her other book called Alice, which is a Alice in Wonderland retelling, and it was really good. So when I saw this in the bookstore, I was like, wow, I can't believe they have it. I'm going to get that. I wish they had the Alice one, but they don't. But I hope this will be just as good as Alice was. Um, this is about a mermaid called Amelia, who can never be content in the sea, a mermaid who longs to know all the world and all its wonders, and so she came to live on land. And she meets a man called P.T. Barnum, the circus guy. Um, a man who longed to make his fortune by selling the wondrous and miraculous, and there's nothing more miraculous than a real mermaid. 
So she goes and plays the mermaid for Barnum. Um, she thinks she can leave anytime she likes, but Barnum has other ideas, basically. Yeah, mermaids! And pretty... pretty. Next one I got was um, Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Um, I read this, but I don't remember it, but I do remember liking it, so I was like, okay, I'll get it. And I like the movie, too. I like to see the movie again, maybe after I read it. Um, it's like a... I think you tell from the cover that it's like a fantasy, it's like a unicorn, and the girl, and another girl, <laughs> the boy. <laughs> um, this one says, Tristan, or Tristan. Um, Thorn promises to bring back a fallen star for his beloved, the hauntingly beautiful Victoria Forrester, and crosses the wall that divides his English country town from another, more dangerous world of lords and witches, all of them in search of the star. He's on an adventure. Um, I read by the same guy, Coraline. Um, was that last? Yeah, it must have been last year. <laughs> and that was, um, alright. But I think I like this one better, but we'll have to see. Next one I got was Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Um, I like this. I read it quite a few years ago. This is a really pretty cover too. It's very like, simple. So this is about um, two guys. One named George, who is small and quick, dark of face. And Lenny, a man of tremendous size but has the mind of a young child, yet they have formed a family clinging together in the face of loneliness and alienation, and their labors in California's dusty vegetable fields, and they work and they have a plan, they want to own an acre of land and a shack they can call their own, and they get jobs at a ranch, and basically just so much stuff happens. <laughs> And the next book I got was um, definitely a book I've read before, but it was just too cute to pass up. It was so adorable when I saw it. I was like, aww. And it's this To Kill a Mockingbird of Harper Lee, but it's adapted into a graphic novel. So it's like a comic book, and it just has the most adorable illustrations ever by Fred Fordham. Look how cute. So it's like they drew it, and then they put like the the text, which I think is from the, maybe it's from the book, it says it's adapted, so maybe they changed it a little. But look how adorable, I really like To Kill a Mockingbird, and now I have it like an illustrated version, like how adorable can you get? So this is, I'll just read what it says here. An unforgettable portrait of race and class, innocence and injustice, hypocrisy and heroism, Tradition and Transformation in the Deep South of the 1930s. And the last book I got is similar to that Kill a Mockingbird one in the sense that it's a graphic novel. And it's Anne Frank's diary, the graphic adaption. So it's her diary, but illustrated. Um, adapted by Ari Fulman and illustrations by David Polen Polonsky. But the, <laughs> the drawings are so adorable. I couldn't pass it up. So it has like her diary date there and then like the writing and pictures. I love illustrated things apparently because I saw these two and I was like, I have to have them. By the, or not survived, but she lived during the um, Holocaust. In World War II. Yeah, so cute. So cute. <laughs> so there are my eight new books that I got, and they're all so pretty and adorable. I can't wait to read them. Um, well, some of them I've already read, but I'm going to reread them in the coming months. Um, not Little Women, though, because I just read that one last year, so it's still fresh. But maybe in a couple of years, I'll, a couple of years or whatever, I'll reread that one too, because it's going to be. Just look at it, it's so pretty. This is probably like one of my favorite covers ever. Anyway, enough like gushing over the books. <laughs> I'll see you next time.